Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is super exciting because I have a wax swap for you guys. Oh, the ice cream truck is coming by. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. So um, if you guys can hear that, yeah, that's the ice cream truck going by the neighborhood. But anyways, this is my first ever wax swap and I'm really excited. This is with Kate. Um, her Instagram handle is at wild.4.wax. I'll put her um, Instagram um, link below. Uh, please give her a follow. And yeah, I just am just so thankful that there's just such nice people in the wax community and that we can share like <laughs> our love for wax melts and how crazy we are about home fragrance. And it's just really nice. And yeah, I first um, really started talking to Kate because we both love fizzy scents. So we like uh, interacted over our love for fizzy scents. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started with the some of the stuff that she gave me. So thank you so much, Kate. Um, all right, so the first thing I have here is this little uh, round little clamshell. This is in by Twilight Garden Wax. This is Cola Cake Noel. This is what it looks like and it has a cute little penguins and like snowflakes in there. Look at that. And hmm, yeah. This one does smell like cola, but it's not like super fizzy or anything like that. It just has that cola uh, flavor, not flavor, like smell to it. And it's like sweetened by the cake, so yes. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Next, I got this, which is from Ella After Wax Co. This is uh, Earl Grey Tea, which is Bergamot Zest Sweet Herbal Tea Leaves. And Ella After is a Canadian vendor. I've never tried this vendor before, and I've actually sort of wanted to try some of her wax, so I'm excited to try some of this. And um, yeah, I do like tea scents. And this one... That sort of smell like tea. Um, it's not super strong on cold, but hopefully on warm that will change. So thank you so much. Okay, next thing I have here is from Swanky. This is a uh, little shot cup. Um, I've never tried Swanky either before. I've never purchased from Swanky. And this is in the scent Wild Fruit Juice. And it is sweet, super sweet, juicy, fruity scents, sugary berries, tropical, and citrus fruits. Um, this is huge, by the way. This is not your typical scent shot size. Like, it's look at this, like, round clamshell. It's, like, about the size of that. Do you see that? It's huge. It has to be at least three ounces. Um, oh, that smells really good, actually. Wow. That smells like a fruit punch. <laughs> I love fruity scents, and uh, Kate likes fruity scents as well, and this is really, really nice. So that smells good. Okay, um, moving on. The next thing I have here is Seaside Serenade. Um, seaside Breeze, Ocean Sands, and Beach Grass. Um, I do like Ozonic Scents. Ooh, oh, something fell out. <laughs> A label. Um, anyways, but yeah, this is really nice. Nice little beachy scent. Okay, moving on. This is from Rainbow Melts. This is Cotton Candy Smoothie. Cotton Candy and Vanilla Smoothie. And uh, this... Yep, that's exactly what it is. It's cotton candy and like sweet vanilla-ness. So yes, there's that. Okay, moving on. These are the little trig tarts from L3. This is in lavender cream. We also both really like lavender. So yeah, I feel like me and Kate have very similar taste. And so um, doing this wax swap was so nice. Mm, yeah, this is definitely lavender. Um... It's not sweet. It's not a sweet lavender. It's not super herbal either, but um, yeah, it is a nice lavender scent. So yeah, moving on. Next, I have this little scent cup from Midnight Daydream, which is also a vendor I've never tried before. So I'm so excited to be able to have the opportunity to, uh, you know, try all these new vendors. This one's Coconut Cotton Candy Icebox Cookies. And... It smells like very sweet um, cookies. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait to melt that. So thank you so much, Kate. Um, another thing, a little little cup, and this is a sample from Midnight Daydream as well. This is birthday cake, cheesecake, and royal sugar cookies. Yeah, this one, I can definitely smell the birthday cake and the sugar cookies. Very sweet uh, gourmand kind of scent. Okay. Moving on, uh, this is 
from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is White Clouds, which is a laundry scent. Um, if you guys ever smelled White Clouds before, yeah, that's exactly what it smells like. It's definitely laundry. So, yes, this is nice. Thank you. Yeah, I think Kate told me that she uh, went back and watched my videos to see what I liked. And I th just thought that was so sweet of her to do that. And so, yeah, I'm just, yeah, thank you so much, Kate. I feel like I'm going to say thank you so much so many times in this video, but I truly am thankful. Um, the next one here is Smoked Ginger Woolen Blanket. This is by Rose Girls. Um, this one. Mmm. Mm, yeah, this definitely smells like some sort of like linen scent mixed with um, some like little zesty brightness from the ginger. So that's nice. Moving on. This is Salt Mountain Circus Stuffed Sugar Cookies. She cut up some pieces for me. Um, this did travel a long way, so some of the bags might be smudgy, but I don't really care about smudgy bags, but uh, yeah, she lives quite far from me, um, so these this did travel a long way. I've also never tried Salt Mountain. Uh, you know, everyone knows Salt Mountain is notoriously hard to get, and most of the time I just never tried. But um, yeah, I'm excited to try some of her stuff, see if it's worth the hype. So yeah, this is a circus stuffed sugar cookie. Oh, okay. This one is definitely strong on that cherry note. Yeah, it's like that cherry frosted sugar cookie. So, yeah, definitely strong on the cherry. So, I'll see how I feel when I melt that one. Next one I have here is from L3, which is Fruity... Is this cotton candy? What's CC? I have no clue, but Fruity Pebbles Fizzy Pop. That's actually a really interesting blend. Um, as much as I love Fizzy Pop, I've never tried to blend with a cereal scent, so that's sort of interesting. Um, let's see how this smells. Oh, interesting. So this is mainly the Fizzy Pop that I smell, and just like a hint of Fruity Pebble. Um, it's sort of interesting, actually, but it's mostly Fizzy Pop, so I still like this. So, yes interesting blend indeed okay the next one i have here is l3 pretzel butter brickle and vanilla bean noel i love pretzel scents so i'm excited to try this one mm. oh yeah that's good i really like that yeah i love pretzel scents especially when it's mixed with like super sweet scents like butter brickle because that salty and sweet combo is just so nice i really like it and yeah i love pretzel scents Okay. The next one I have here is from Bodies Harmony. And this is in cotton candy. Very um, basic scent, but you know, classic and a great blender. And these are a bunch of little shapes inside. Let me see if I can pull one out. Yeah, like here's like a little sun. That's very cute. But yeah, so Kate is a uh, rep for Bodies Harmony. If you want to use her code, it's Kate, K A T E 10, for 10% off your order. I believe it's not an affiliate code, so she doesn't get commission if you use it. I think it's just to bring in like customers and stuff like that. I'm not super sure though, so you might want to double check. But if you do want to place an order with Bodies Harmony, uh, consider using her code. So, yes. Okay. The next one I have here is Hayden Row Ginger Ale. We also both really like ginger ale, so of course we have to try some. Oh yeah, that's good. That's a very bright, zesty ginger ale. Definitely really, really good. Now, um, this one to me, it smells like uh, very similar to the ginger ale from Barrett's Wax Craft. I think it's the same, but uh, Barrett's Wax Craft has a very similar, like, ginger ale and I love that ginger ale this one is very like basically the same maybe it might be different with the row but um yeah this is really good if you're uh wanting a super zesty bright um fizzy ginger ale consider Hayden Row. okay moving on this is from super tarts and this is lavender and orange creamsicle Ooh, that sounds really good can't wait to smell that one mmm Mm, that actually smells really good. So when I s smell this first, um, I get the orange cream skull first, and then a hint of that lavender, which I actually think adds a lot of depth and like an interesting touch to that orange cream skull. That's really good. Something that I wouldn't have thought to blend together, but it works. Okay, the next one I have here is Peached Whale, and uh, this is by Rose Girls. Let's see here. 
Mmm. Oh, that's a really good peach scent. Now, for many people, peach scents can <laughs> be very hit or miss for them or smell like cat piss to them. I've never come across a peach that smells like cat piss to me. But uh, this one is really good. A very nice, juicy, peachy scent. I feel like it might have some citrus in there as well. I'm not quite sure, but it is definitely a really nice, peachy scent. Okay, the next one I have here is from Empire Alchemy. It's this two-pack of donuts, and this is in Houndstooth, which is winter linen, fresh-cut bamboo, and tangerine. I've been getting into, like, uh, clean linen kind of scents and laundry scents recently, so um, this is really nice. Oh, yeah. That's really, really nice. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely fresh. I get that linen first and then the bamboo. Not too much of the tangerine, but this is still really good. I'm starting to learn that I, I really like the oil winter linen. It's such a nice um, linen scent without being like a headache-inducing laundry scent. It smells sort of like a luxurious linen, almost like something you would find at a nice hotel. So, yeah, I really like that. Okay, moving on. Next, I have a little uh, scent cup from K's Scented Melts, which is Peony White Tea. Like I said, I do like tea scents, so it's so nice of her to send me some tea scents. Mm, yeah, that's really nice. This is a really nice, relaxing sort of tea scent with some slight floralness, so I can't wait to try that one. Okay. Moving on, this is Body's Harmony uh, Key Lime Pie. Now, <laughs> Kate absolutely loves key lime anything, and so um, she sent me some of this. I think this is one of her favorite scents ever, so yeah, I'm excited to try some, some of her favorite. Um, yeah, that's definitely key lime pie, but it's like creamy. You definitely smell like um, pie part of it so it is like a creamy limey kind of um scent so yes okay moving on i got a little bit of southbound peppermint marshmallow milkshake um i also really like peppermint scents so this one might be really good oh yeah that's really good that's definitely like a peppermint like uh, milkshake kind of scent it sort of reminds me of like andy's like mint chocolates I think sort of reminds me of that this is really good okay moving on I got something from Waxidents which is a company I do like and this is in Soleil which is white woods vanilla velvet and hipster it's a cute little dinosaur I'll take it out to show you because it's adorable uh, look at that how cute is that oh it has a um, little piece of wax on its mouth but it's okay um, yeah, this definitely, um, I can smell the white woods. Uh, it's really nice because it's not too woody. It's like a softened wood scent with that vanilla. That's really nice. Okay, moving on. I got some rainbow melts, and this is a nice little, um, little stick <laughs> in watermelon, cotton candy, marshmallow. I, watermelon's one of my favorite fruity scents, and so... Mm, yeah, this is a candied watermelon with like sweetened cotton candy. Yeah, that will be perfect for the summer. Okay, the next one I have here is Rose Girls and Tenacious Toadette. Um, this two-toned. I don't know the scent notes for this. This is from her Mario collection, but um, I'm just going to smell it and guess. Okay, there's definitely cherry in this. At least to my nose. I don't know what else is in there, but I smell cherries, <laughs> so yes. Okay, the next one I have here is from Sassy Wax Melts, which is a vendor I really like. And this uh, has a cute little dinosaur. I'll take it out <laughs> to show you, because that's actually quite a unique shape. This is Big Wheel, which is Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, and Gummy Bears. I love Gummy Bears, and I love cereal scents. I've never had the two mixed together, so I'm curious to try them um, together. And so let's see. Uh, let's see here. Look at that. Hold on. Look at that. It's such a cute, tiny little dinosaur, and it's like multi-layered. Um, oh. I smell the gummy bear first, which I really like and prefer, actually. And then it's just like a little bit sweetened up by the cereal. It's not... I don't smell a lot of cereals. I mainly smell the gummy bear, but I'm not mad at that because I love gummy bears um, as a scent. So, yes. Okay, moving on. Um... This one is Super Tarch, which is Sentinel. I also don't know the scent notes for this, but I can look it up later. So I'm just going to guess. Um, this is like three-toned, which is cool. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's like blue, 
purple and then like gray. Oh, this is a lavender scent. It smells like sweet lavender. Yeah, lavender, sweet lavender kind of scent. I'm not quite sure what else is in here, but I definitely smell that sweet lavender. So, yes, this would be nice for the bedtime. Okay, next here I got some pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, Coffee House by L3. I do really like pumpkin pecan waffles. And so this would be nice for the morning. It's like a sweetened coffee scent almost, it seems. Yeah. So this one, I actually smell um, the pumpkin pecan waffles first, which is actually sort of um, weird because for most coffee scents, I feel like the coffee scents really dominates the other scent notes. But for this one, I smell the pumpkin pecan waffles first, which I really like. So, okay. Then I keep digging in the bag here. She sent a lot of stuff. Like, thank you so much, Kate. <laughs> And then the next one I have here is by Rainbow Melts, which is Got Candy, a sweet mix of trick-or-treat goodies. I really like candy scents, and so, um, oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, that's really, really good. This smells like Skittles. Yeah, it smells like Skittles, and it's so good. I really enjoy that. I'm gonna melt some later, probably. <laughs> okay. The next one I have here is from Empire Alchemy. This is Headless Horseman, which is charred pumpkin flesh, burnt marshmallows, dry sweeping leaves, amber, and santal. As you can see. So. Oh, that's interesting, actually. Oh. So, I'm normally not a big fall person kind of scent, and this one is definitely a fall scent. But this one is actually blended very beautifully together, and um, that charred charred pumpkin note you can definitely tell there's like some smokiness at the pumpkin um and it, it smells really nice actually now everyone knows um anna of empire alchemy who's the owner she's like the blending queen and yeah this is blended beautifully so yes okay the next one i have here is from sassy girl aroma this is berry sweet tobacco which is sweet cherries pomegranate and tobacco it's like a partial brittle and um Oh, okay. For this one, I definitely smell the cherries and the pomegranate first, um, which I like because I like fruity scents. And then there's just a bit of tobacco in the background, not super strong, mainly the cherries and pomegranate. So yeah, that's interesting. Okay, the next one here is like a tiny little little shape, flower shape, and this is Waxidents Southern Sweet Tea. Oh yeah. That definitely smells like sweet tea. It reminds me of, <laughs> sorry, excuse me. Um, that reminds me of Arizona sweet tea. Um, a lot of people um, in the States, have you ever tried America, America, Arizona sweet tea? Yeah, that's exactly what it smells like. And then this one is from L3, which is Ariel's song. I don't remember the scent notes for this. I remember seeing it before. It's something like grape, like, Grape, Mountain Dew, other things like that. So that sounds totally up my alley. I love Mountain Dew. Again, fizzy scents. Mm. Yeah, the first thing I smell here is the Mountain Dew. I think I smell hints of grape, but mainly that Mountain Dew. That's quite good. So, yes. Okay. Gotta keep going. She sent so much stuff. I'm so grateful. And I'm so excited to try these new vendors that I've never tried before. Okay, so the next one I have here is a couple of little pieces of brittle. And this is from Sassy Girl Aroma Florida Citrus Birthday Cake. Um, yeah, this smells like orange, like orange sherbet almost, and a little bit of creaminess to it. So, yeah, that's really good. Okay. The next one here is L3 in a pear cantaloupe white tea. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, that's that's really good. Um, I'm starting to learn that I quite like white tea as a note because it has almost this like calm. It's not herbal. It's not medicinal or herbal, but it adds this calm like slightly floral but not really floral it's really hard to describe but mixed with those fruity notes it's really really good but definitely what it sounds like okay 
next is from Small Batch Wax, which is also a company I've never tried. I've, I've seen before on Instagram and such, but I've never tried them, so it's cool to finally try them. Uh, this is Pink Grapefruit Sugar Cookie and Whipped Cream. That sounds really good. It's these cute little hexagon shapes, and I really wanted to try uh, some grapefruit scents because I love grapefruit, so... Mmm. Yeah, this is definitely like a creamy kind of grapefruit scent. It's sweetened up by that sugar cookie. Yeah, that's interesting. So I'll try that. Okay. And then I have another little scent cup from Saskia Aroma. This is Zen type. I don't know what type this is for, but... Mm. It smells definitely sort of like a spa kind of scent, but almost like it has bamboo in it. So yeah, that's really nice. And then the last one I have here is from VCS, which is There's No Place Like Home, which is pumpkin, pecan, waffles, and zucchini bread. Uh, I assume zucchini bread, not just zucchini, but yes, this one. Oh yeah, you definitely smell both. And this zucchini bread's not offensive to me. Um, zucchini breads can definitely be hit or miss for me, but this one is that nice creamy zucchini bread and it just makes very well with that pumpkin pecan waffles. So yeah. Um, thank you so much. That is everything from Kate and I just want to say thank you so much to Kate for sending me this and doing a little wax swap with me. I've never done one of these before and it's just always nice when people in the wax community just share what they like and you know just um, let them try new things or just things that you think that they would like and it's just I don't know It's just really nice to receive a package like that um, So thank you so much. Please give her a follow on Instagram or if you decide to place a body's harmony um, Little small little haul or whatever use her code But yeah, thank you so much everyone. I hope you guys are having a great week and I'll see you guys next time